The current projects in my laboratory are involved with environmental toxicology. And you might ask what environmental toxicology is. That is the study of compounds that are found in the environment and their effects on biological or body systems. What we're looking at primarily are pesticides and heavy metals. And we look at very low doses or low concentrations of those compounds uh, because we don't want them to be uh, highly toxic. What we're most interested in is individuals who've been exposed long term uh, to very low levels of just naturally occurring uh, compounds in the environment. Uh, our primary uh, focus is on, the pest, on certain pesticides that are normally found in agriculture and on heavy metals, which a lot of people don't realize that heavy metals are still in some pharmaceutical agents. Uh, they're in a lot of chemical reactions. So industrial plants can generate heavy metals. If anyone has remembers or knows about or has heard about the effects of cadmium, that was a big uh, news blip a, uh, a while back looking at cadmium that was in the paint on children's toys uh, that actually could be leaching out and getting into the child. There's two main focuses within the, that main project. Uh, the first focus being the, the effects of the pesticides and heavy metals on brain development. Uh, in particular, we're interested in unborn children who could be exposed in the womb uh, to these pesticides and heavy metals, which may or may not accumulate in the unborn child and it'll affect brain development. The second focus is on the effects of the pesticides and heavy metals on tumor development, where most or a lot of these chemicals that we're interested in have been reported to be uh, tumor-causing agents, but in low concentrations, you might not see tumor development except for exposure over a longer period of time. So what we're trying to do is mimic what you would normally see in the environment and then find out how there are changes that are occurring. Why we do it is we want to fully understand or more fully understand the progression of these disorders. How does the brain alter its development? How does tumor development occur? And if during this time of exposure we can figure out certain key points, uh, we can have pharmacological interventions at those points and either prevent uh, the alterations or changes in brain development as well as prevent the growth of tumors. And ultimately our goal is to improve the quality of life and to um, improve the pharmacological or medicinal interventions to prevent the development of these disorders.